Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figured Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and check it out. Today, I've got a doozy for you. Now, before we get into this, I have to give the biggest shout out in the world to StoneAgeGamer.com. I'm gonna put a link in the description. I'm so in love with them right now, I'm wearing their t-shirt. Now, here's why. What this thing is, this is the Neo SD AES. This is a cartridge for the Neo Geo AES, you know, history's most expensive game console ever. This is a cartridge for it that contains every single game ever made for it all on one cartridge. And you can play it on original hardware. My God. Um, so the deal with this thing is, as you would imagine, this thing is not the cheapest thing in the world. And I was at uh, Too Many Games in Philadelphia, and I was talking to Stone Age Gamer, and they, they said, you know what, take one. They hooked me up. For review purposes, I got one so that I can make a video so you guys can see this. That was insanely nice of them to do. They did not have to do that. And we're all benefiting because you get this video, which is fucking awesome. And of course, obviously, I get to use this thing, which is just mind-blowing that this thing even exists, but we'll talk more about that in a bit. And I, I want it very clear, Stone Age Gamer doesn't make these, they just happen to sell them. So again, they really didn't have to do that. So do me a solid, check out their website, look into it. There's an AES version, which is what you're going to see in this video, and there's an MDS version if that's the particular Neo Geo hardware you happen to have. I happen to I'd be lucky enough to own an AES, so that's what I got, that's what, you know, that's what we're going to do a video on here. So thank you StoneAgeGamer.com. Now, if you're like, okay, there was a lot to that, what exactly is going on here? Neo Geo, AES, Neo SD cartridge. <laughs> Again, simplest of terms, it's a cartridge that can have every single game ever made on it. Now, if that sounds familiar, uh, this concept has been around for a long time. There used to be like cheap Chinese like boot carts for different things. And then really what changed the game was the EverDrive line. Um, and you guys might know those. The, this guy Crix was making tons of these things for the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, N64. Very good, very high quality flash cartridges. But one console he never tackled was the Neo Geo AES. I imagine because for years people said it was impossible. It was too complicated, too many different games had too many different chips in them and all this stuff. And on top of that, you know, it's it's while potentially in demand, it's it would ultimately be very expensive and maybe there's just not enough people out there who want it, but so as a result, as far as I know, he never really tried to make one. This one is not an EverDrive. It's the same idea, but it's not an EverDrive. This is actually made by a company called Terra Onion. They're the ones who made this. And even crazier, they made it out of nowhere. You know, it was never like, hey, we're gonna be working on this, we're gonna take pre-orders, we're announcing it, we're getting people hyped up. They never did any of that. They just went like, okay, it's done, we finished it. Do you guys wanna buy it? And I believe it's been out for about a year. Now, for the longest time, you could only get like the loose cartridge of it, which I'll give you kind of a quick look at here. It's just the loose cartridge was the way they were selling it. Um, and they spent a lot of the time of that year talking to the Neo Geo community and making sure they're like, hey, if there's any issues, let us know. And they're very Johnny on the spot about it. So if there was an issue, people would report it, and these guys would firmware update it, and bam, issue resolved. Uh, now, like I mentioned, Stone Age Gamer is selling them now. Stone Age Gamer's variant. Uh, obviously, it comes in a very nice clamshell case here. Comes with a manual, which includes all sorts of technical information and you know different artwork. And of course, they shrink wrap the cartridge, which, as you can see, mine is still shrink wrapped because I wanted to take this journey with you together. Because I'm super fucking excited about it, but I want you to see exactly what this is going to look like if you pick it up. Um, now. Uh, so, uh, we'll talk about technical stuff in a minute here, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, just, I'm still shell-shocked that this thing even exists at all. That's just amazing to me. Um, because, again, people always said it wasn't really going to be possible to get all these different games to work, but apparently they have reached 100% compatibility. Fucking bonkers. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Especially because if you know anything about the Neo Geo AES, it is not a collector's friend. Um, because the games on that console are insanely expensive. A bargain bin game on the Neo Geo AES is like 50 to $80 USD. That's nuts. And then there are certain games that are multiple hundreds of dollars. Like, the idea of actually trying to get a set of it I've never heard of anybody successfully do that just because of the, all the financial problems. You'd have to sell your house in most cases to do it. It's insane. So even though this thing which retails for about 500 bucks, that might sound like a shit ton of money because, yeah, it's a lot of money. But at the same time, if you're into the Neo Geo, there is no better way to spend your money than to get this cartridge. This is a unique uh, situation where unless you are absolutely loaded, this is probably the way you're going to want to go. So 
yeah, that's it's it's just amazing and impressive that it exists at all. So let's talk about some technical stuff before I actually get to using it. Um, the most important thing to note is that this thing, the way it takes the games is that it uses uh, a micro SD card, which I have one just sitting right here, a little micro SD card. Uh, it can support up to 32 gigabytes, and they must be formatted to FAT32. Uh, once you do that, you'll put your ROMs on there, and you'll, be, you'll basically be good to go. The only quirk I've run into uh, thus far, and I've read a lot about this, was that you had to, you have to take the ROMs, and you have to convert them to a .neo format. See, once you get a Neo Geo set of ROMs, they're basically in zip files. And if you open one of those up, you'll see there's like four or five, sometimes more, uh, little files in there. Unfortunately, and I don't know why, this thing can't read those. There, there has to be some, there's obviously a reason for that. I just don't happen to know what it is. Um, but no problem. You know, you get your ROM set. Once you go to, there's a website link provided with this thing, and there's a serial number that's actually on the cartridge. You plug the serial number in, and it'll give you access to a bunch of tools. One of them's a little download, you know, like for an installer. Very simple little GUI based thing. You know, it works very easily. You open it up, and it allows you to basically convert the ROM set over to what you need to do. Works pretty well. The only problem with this program is that it's very particular about the quality of the rip. Now this is where it gets annoying, because there's a shit ton of different ROM sets of Neo Geo hardware out there. Um, there it's not just one guy's work that has been floating around forever, it has multiple people have done multiple rips. As a result, um, sometimes the program likes one copy of a ROM more than it likes another copy of a ROM. And it will be very particular about how good or bad the quality is, because they're not all ripped the same. So I had to go through something like seven different ROM sets before I had a complete .neo ROM set, if you're following me. But now I've successfully done that, so I'm completely ready to go. Uh, I imagine as time goes on, it's going to be easier to just find complete .neo pre-created sets. That's what I would honestly look for, but um, it may not be ready to go at this point in time, but eventually it will. Um, at the time I make this, uh, the firmware I have is up to date. If you pick it up at StoneAgeGamer.com, they do give you the latest firmware when you buy it. Um, I believe that would be for both the AES and the MVS version, depending on, again, which version you want. Okay, here we go. When you turn it on, you'll see this. That's, of course, reading the SD card. And if you're successful, you'll see a bunch of games in there. Uh, now, I have mine loaded with every single game that exists for the platform, which is awesome. Um, there's not that many, as you guys might know, the Neo Geo library isn't huge, but, uh, yeah, the fact that they actually got them all to work, considering how complicated the hardware is, is absolutely insane. Now, keep in mind, if you know anything about the AES or the MVS, they have cartridges for each one. You can't buy one and use it interchangeably. You have to buy the correct one for your hardware. Um, it might work with adapters, I honestly don't know, I'm not familiar enough, but I do know that an AES cartridge will not work natively on an MVS and vice versa. Uh, so if you have the home console and you're like, oh, but the, the MVS console is, or the cartridge is cheaper, don't buy that thinking that's going to work, because it won't. Um, so, moving on, uh, some other technical stuff while we're kind of looking through some of the games here. Uh, one thing to note that's kind of, well, cool about the, the device itself is you see it has different options, load, options, filter, favorites. You can actually create, like, a subset of your favorite games. That way, you know, you can have the full ROM set on there, but it'll make its own self-generated list where it's like, okay, I really only like, you know, X, Y, and Z games, and it, your highlighted games will be there by priority, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can go up and down individually. Uh, using the, uh, the the joystick or the D-pad. Unfortunately, I only have the arcade stick. I know I need a regular uh, AES controller or Neo Geo CD controller, I believe. But you can also like press left and right, and it'll jump up in like swaths of you know 20 games at a time. Uh, so we're gonna try out Metal Slug X here. Now it's gonna look like first of all it has to erase whatever is natively on there, and then it has to flash to the new game. Now it looks like it did that like oh really fast, you know? No. Uh, this thing takes a really, really long time to erase and especially to flash a new ROM. I cut that out just for the sake of time, uh, but it takes an eternity. And I, it's not a complaint, it's just an acknowledgement. Be patient, it's a lot of data for this thing to handle. It's amazing that it works at all, so just be patient. But once it's in there, it runs flawlessly. Uh, so I wanted to try out Metal Slug X, I'd never played it before. 
So this is my first run through here, and I'll, I'll just show you some highlights. This game was fucking awesome as shit. And another reason I chose it is it's uh, one of the last AES games ever made. It's also got like the most, uh, I guess it's got a lot of special levels of protection on it to prevent it from basically being able to be pirated or, or copied, what have you. And as you can see, it, it works perfectly fine. Like they even got this like a you know, special one to run just fine, which is very impressive. Like I said, full compatibility. Awesome, awesome fucking game. Um, now, more technical notes uh, about this thing. Uh, when you're making your game, when you're putting your games on the SD card, one thing I found out is that you can't create a folder on the SD card called like Neo Geo games or anything like that. You have to just have the ROM just sitting out in the open on on the folder. You can't make any sub uh, subfolders or it will not work. Which is unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. I would have preferred a little more organization, but you, you don't currently have that liberty. Maybe they'll add that in the future. But I think that's why they have that favorites uh, internal software there you can play with if you want. Um, now you can see I'm loading up a game here called Digger Man. This is a prototype. Now this thing is actually capable of reading not only prototypes of stuff that have been dumped onto the internet, but also homebrews and fan games and all that. Uh, now this game is absolute shit. I mean, which is to be expected. It's a prototype. It's not a finished game. Um, I pl I tried to play it for like a minute, and I was like, oh, okay. This I couldn't I couldn't really figure this one out, and I just eventually just got annoyed and gave up. This game is also interesting that I tested this one because this is one of the games that's kind of buggy running on this thing. Like it runs fine, it loads fine, it plays fine. The issue is resetting it. You try to reset back to the the dashboard. There's internal buttons you can press, like the start plus A and C or start plus A and B. Like there's multiple combinations that'll work where it will take you back to this menu. Um, that game in particular, if you load it, that won't work. Uh, so there's actually a, an extra process you have to go in and go into the memory card and like delete a, a file called last game. And once you do that and reload it, everything will be fine. It's very weird. Um, so games like King of Fighters here, all these games have different sub-menu options as you saw there. Uh, that give you different features, including you can listen to the music on the jukebox, you can make it so that the game uh, defaults by turning on, or it defaults to the menu, you can choose which uh, combination of buttons on the controller will reset back to the dashboard, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, and uh, I should note a couple other things. This thing plays in all regions. Uh, it plays all regions of games. It'll ask you, you know, in some cases it'll ask you like compatibility if you want to convert it over from one format to the other, like uh, Japanese or American, what have you. Um, yeah, and uh, overall, man, like the thing is amazing. Like it's absolutely amazing. And in case you're curious how I recorded it, um, not too long ago, I actually invested in an RGB SCART cable for the AES. I never, I never thought I'd really need it because I only had a couple of games, and then I thought, well, maybe I should just get this, you know, it'll just make the ones I have look that much better. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of it because I can actually use it with this thing. So what you've got here is you've got, uh, the, uh, uh AES running RGB SCART with stereo sound out through the front port, uh, the head so uh, headphone port, running into the Frame Meister. And then from the Frame Meister into my Hop Hodge HD PVR, um, and that's captured that way. So yeah, it looks pretty much as good as I could ever possibly get it to look, and it's it's really impressive. I, I am genuinely astonished by the quality of this console. Um, now that I get to actually use it more, I mean this is just some tinkering I was doing. Was playing you know Metal Slug X and that random prototype, and then this King of Fighters game. Just kind of wanted to check some stuff out, but. Yeah, man, this has kind of opened up a, a whole new you know world to me. If I if I want to get into the Neo Geo, it's it's now possible where it really never was before. So you know, this is if you have Neo Geo hardware, I, I honestly don't know how you could not want to get this because um, it's just amazing. It's 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 absolutely astonishing that this thing is real. So uh, I guess with that, um, I just want to say thank you again to Stone Age Gamer for the hookup. Uh, I hope you guys will check them out. I put a link in the description so you can go to their website and check it out and, or it or anything else you want. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.